Hello, I'm Rebecca. If you want to be a faster runner or a better runner altogether, then I have the workout for you. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the three reasons why sprint training um, can make you a faster, better runner. Please stay tuned to the end of this video to see my sprint training workout. We already know that um, you know strength training incorporated into our running program can make, make us a better, faster, stronger runner. And you may want to check out my strength training video linked in the comments below. But we've also seen st many studies that have shown that sprint sprinting can actually help us be better, faster runners, and not just for short runs, but for longer runs too. So reason number one that sprinting or adding sprinting to our fitness routine helps us be faster is that Sprinting makes us faster. <laughs> I know it sounds redundant, but actually, you know, sprinting just doesn't make us faster at short runs, but it actually helps us be stronger and faster for longer runs as well, because sprinting actually builds muscles. It targets, targets our fast twitch muscle fibers, and it builds endurance and power. It builds power and strength so that we can run faster further each time. That's what sprinting does for us. Reason number two that sprinting is great to add to our running program is that it actually builds endurance. It, it pushes our bodies to their limit and it increases our VO2 max, which makes it easier for us to run faster for longer periods of time and each successive time. So if we continue to do sprinting in our weekly workouts, it will increase not only our speed, but also our endurance for our longer runs as well. And reason number three is that it can be done by sprinters, or not sprinters, but runners at any level. So if you're a newbie sprinter, a newbie runner, you can sprint. If you've been running for a long time, you can sprint. So like people who, can, you know, we, we don't, we can't all just go out and run five miles, but people that have been running for a while can. But if you haven't been running for a long time or haven't, you can go out and do small sprints. The thing is to smart start small, do, um, for example, like sprint or run as fast as you can for 30 seconds and then rest for like a whole minute, then sprint for 30 seconds, then rest for a whole minute. Then you can kind of even sprint for 30 seconds and just walk or jog in between a little bit and rest still for that one minute or even longer if you need to. And then the next week after that, you can build up. You can do 30 seconds um, sprints for three or four times and, then, and put that minute of rest in between. And then the next week after that, you might want to add maybe do 45 seconds of sprinting with a minute or a minute and a half of rest in between. So you can, the, the key is to start small because sprinting really pushes our bodies hard anyway, harder than distance running well, or you know what I mean, um, shorter distance, but like running a mile or two. Sprinting really pushes our body for that short period of time really hard. So you wanna be careful with that. And also remember to stretch. I struggle to, I just don't like stretching. I'm not very stretchy, stretchy, but I know that stretching helps my running and helps my my fitness level altogether. So just always remember to stretch and drink lots of water. Please check out my um, sprint training workout that I did this week. First, before I start my sprints, I do some dynamic stretching. So the first thing I do is warm up my hamstrings and quads by doing leg swings. So you just wanna stay on your leg. I'm not very stretchy, but I try to touch my toe with my hand, my toe, with my, with my fingers, my fingertips. And then I just keep walking into it so I get that good stretch in my hamstrings. And that's just hamstring. We're gonna do another hamstring one where we just reach down and touch the toe with our leg out. But when you touch that toe, like right there, I feel that hamstring. Hamstrings, so tight. <laughs> I'm so tight. <laughs> hamstring stretch. <coughs> excuse me, hamstring stretch, down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna do a leg swing. It's nice to kind of grab something. I guess dog bags aren't the best, but I'm not gonna lick my hands. So I'm just gonna swing my leg back and forth. So that gets the quad and the hamstring and quad warmed up dynamically. I like to do like swings of 20 or something like that. Make sure your core is tight. Just swing, get that leg warmed up and stretched out. There we go. I'm going to do the other side. I'm just going to swing really far forward. I get that hamstring and then back a little bit, getting that full range of motion, getting that dynamic stretch in. Okay. 
And after the dynamic stretching, then I just do a, a quick warm up. So I'm going to do what's called, it's kind of like an A step, but I just call it um, a skip, skip and drive your knee up, skip and drive your knee up, skip and drive your knee up. Drive that knee up, skip, and use your arms, opposite leg arm, because you're really driving with your knee and with your arm. So drive opposite leg arm, knee up, opposite arm up, knee up, opposite arm. And now onto the sprints. 